Hi everyone. Here you can see that I'm using gyro for ADS. Basically, I'm I've mapped uh, my zoom button uh, to L1, and I'm using R1 to fire. So there is no gyro active when I'm I'm just moving my controller but when I press L1 you can see it's that the jar is activated I, I've noticed that many people on the internet think that uh, with jar aiming you need to like move your hands in some crazy ways I'll just show you how much movement is uh, is really needed to, to be precise with jar aiming so uh, when I press the L1 button, you can see there is very, very little movement involved, and the precision is 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 really great with gyro. So basically, I can shoot some things here. It's really precise. So uh, when you're just playing the game, uh, most of the time you're just running and moving your camera and gyro is not involved. At least that's, that's what I'm using. Because I know some players use gyro on uh, all the time. So uh, In my case I, I don't use uh, gyro for the most of, uh, of my gameplay and only use it for when I see an enemy like for example let's say uh, this 9 right here is an enemy so I'm moving I see it's an enemy I can quickly just uh, point to the direction with the jar aiming the most common use case for, for jar aiming basically just mapping uh, gyro to only when you ADS you can see that not, not much uh, hand movement is required but it allows for much better precision and uh, it's much easier to track targets target down! reloading cover me! Welcome. Nice then. Yeah, got one of them. guys. Detonate. Target. Enemy is down. One dead. Threat. Enemy is down.